while working in IT for a very long time in business development, marketing, all that stuff. Uh, you know, that knack of uh, coming back to the uh, creative side kicked me in again and again, you know. I wanted to start with making YouTube videos. However, to make YouTube videos, you need to know about the camera, the lighting, and a lot of stuff that goes into it because I had seen that in ad my advertising days. By chance, when I was looking through, I came to uh, came across this advertisement from Toronto Film School. So I'm like, okay, I need to know the focal lens. I need to know the, uh, you know, camera settings and everything. That's how I applied for Toronto Film School. And I, I wanted to go go to a place which is well known and could be could get me to a level where I wanted to. So Toronto Film School was uh, uh, in top eight in the world. So that makes. That's me. That makes my number one choice. The faculties were very amazing, all through the term one, through term six, and the practical approach towards learning is is fantastic because you can go through theory, you could go through slides. However, if there's not a practical approach and you do, do not uh, you know complete the assignments, nope, you've not learned anything. Uh, working with the classmates was amazing because again. Uh, some of them had experience in the industry, some did not have experience, some were like me, who just came in to see what's, what's up. So with the classmates, it, it was very easy because we were working towards a common goal. And uh, the common goal was to achieve, to learn, to help each other, to solve problems. You know, that's what, what we were doing. If somebody was stuck in something, the other person used to go and help them. So yes, the experience with the class uh, classmates was amazing, the cohesiveness that we have, the teams were made towards the end. Uh, I would not say that I learned one skill set, there were many skill sets that I learned. Skill sets like working with the camera, skill set like working with the team, skill set working behind behind the scene, and also how to how to manage the actors, which is a very big thing. You can manage yourself. You can manage somebody else. As a, as a director, a person has his own image in their head. However, you cannot reciprocate the same image onto the actors that you're working with. So that tool in advanced directing was, was a way that uh, it, it helped how to direct those, uh, you know, the, the actors who work with us. I mean, now, now I, I do so many things. I learned how to make documentaries. I learned how to make film. I learned how to make marketing uh, commercials. So I'm out doing all these three, but in in my own uh, in my own way. So I do corporate documentaries, commercials, and also film production. So so yes, this is amazing.